Hi, we are the Robot Gang! We are a group of two girls and five boys from fourth and fifth class, and our helper Anna from first class, all in Caroline National School in Newark. We wanted to find out if math is used in programming traffic lights. We started looking at Google to find out, but that wasn't fun. So we decided to speak to a real person. Person, we are here with Deidre Clark, a road design engineer for the Midwest National Road Design Office. So Deidre, we have a few questions for you. Go ahead. How are traffic lights programmed? Is it, is it by human or robots? Good question, Kim. Very interesting. Um, it's a, by a combination of both. So humans would count all of the cars, do the surveys, see where all the different cars are want to go, how many pedestrians they are. They would put all that information into a computer program and the program would tell you what sequence to put the lights on. So what order the reds and green and how long they go for. Okay, perfect. Right. Oh, what happens if they break down? If they break down, they go onto a flashing orange, which means everybody has to be careful going through, and it automatically sends a message to somebody who will come out and fix them. They program to change quicker at busier times of the day. Uh, yes, they are. So in the morning time going into a town, they would leave more green time for the cars going towards town and less for the cars going out of town. Okay. And then they can swap them over in the evening time when the traffic is going in the opposite direction. Oh, uh, hi, my name is Robbie! <laughs> do all like to change using the same pit timings or do you protect them chocolate and so cool? <laughs> yes, Robin, you predict the traffic at different times. <laughs> different times of the day, there's different volumes of traffic, so more cars or less cars, and the traffic lights can change depending on the amount of traffic. Hi, my name's Sean. Do you think roads and traffic lights could be designed? I will watch in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can, but they'll never be as good as engineers. <laughs> are, yes, you are you sure? Are you sure? But you'll always have to have humans to make sure that they're doing things properly. Do you think traffic lights are used in calculators for the That's a good question. Do you need some math? be able to understand what the calculator is telling you and what you're asking the calculator to do. You need to understand that. Uh, thank you, Deirdre. Hope you've learned something we have for sure. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs>